Honest, J. Nowak. Oh yeah. A pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Honest Chain Nowak. And so what I'm going to be doing here today is that I'm going to be talking a few things about name tags. Because of course there are many different types of name tags that you can possibly get, including ones that have an integrated safety pin attachment onto it, which would allow you to easily clip it into your shirt and puncture tons of holes into your garments that you use every day, just to be able to showcase what your identity really is. And of course, there's also the sticker variety with the famous, hello, my name is blank, which of course you could fill in by just simply writing in your name or probably putting in something else along the lines. But again, there's a really big variety out there to choose from, and people have a lot of personal preferences when it comes to their own name tag selection and when it comes to showcasing their identity in any way possible. But there's just a few things that are wrong with the whole thing especially when it comes to the safety pin name tags. Basically those ones that are pretty darn durable and can stand up to a lot of punishment in any sort, but when it comes to those types of name tags with the integrated safety pin that can easily tuck away into a small little loop, that right there leads to a big problem because the safety pin itself is already pretty dangerous. You could definitely poke yourself or stab yourself in the chest, especially in the breast or a finger. And it doesn't really stop there. You could also get like little cuts or something on you. You could probably puncture your nail or cut up your little cuticles or probably do something like that. Probably get yourself stabbed in the eye. Probably get a little ear piercing on there or nose piercing. And it just doesn't stop there. I mean, the safety pin already has quite a reputation for being quite a dangerous little tool that anybody would use. But even though we try to do our best, to promote safety around the workplace whenever it comes to using a name tag like that, then well, again, it's not always going to prove to be effective. That's the way I see it. And that's also the way I hear about it because accidents, of course, with a safety pin are actually quite common. In the same way that accidents that can relate to getting hit by a car or getting yourself sliced up by a kitchen knife or getting bitten by a certain animal like a mosquito or something, injuries like those are super common. They're like very basic in a way. And I know I've talked about basic types of injuries before here on Honest Chain Nowak, but that's only because the list just goes on and on and on. Santa Claus, of course, would probably be able to film that whole thing. But, of course, a list that's that huge out there we're just going to have to find a way to probably like get around those problems that we encounter every day. At least one person we know, every single hour in our lives, happens to have an injury of any of the sorts that I've labeled out or anything else of anything in general when it comes to injuries. So that right there, it's just more than enough evidence to pretty much clear up that whole fact right there. So I feel like that that's just case closed right there. Case closed for me, really. But once again, when it comes to name tags, always want to show off your identity to anybody out there that you know or anyone else that you don't know. But let's just try to promote as much safety as we possibly can when it comes to talking about showing our identity out to the whole world in front of everybody that we see in our everyday lives. Let's also try to respect the safety of others when it comes to having our identity shown because even though they might not know you now, they will know you if they see your full name. They could most likely try and do something very illegal, like they could hack something on your life, like your bank account or social media. They could fish you, P-H-I-S-H, fish. They could also do anything else in general like that. We just don't know anybody out there who's capable of doing such a thing. But yet, we've known millions of people who are capable of such horrendous acts of crime. And I mean horrendous. I am not kidding at all when it comes to talking about crime itself. The way we see it today, in contrast to how we saw it decades ago, it was just awful back then. But it gets much worse as time goes on here in the future. So, of course, if there's any way to get by and around that, then I guess I would have to find out exactly how it works and how are we going to be able to get across some of these problems that we encounter every day in our lives. But, again... 
we should try to be as safe as possible when it comes to showcasing our identity to anybody at all. So, the end. That's another chapter of the book for this entire series of mine that I've got that's closed, really. And if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.